Hey y'all, what's up? Eric Johnson back with y'all again with another quick video. I had to do this before I go to work. This clown, Benzino, has just stepped into a pile of shit that he can't clean himself up from. Now, this dude out here going to one of Eminem's establishments in Detroit, you know, the Mom's Spaghetti restaurant, out here buying spaghetti, throwing it on the ground, so you spent your money at this man's establishment to do your garbage-ass music video, all in the videos, dancing. This dude is living in his second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. childhood, man. This don't make no sense, bro. After months of trying to get Eminem to diss you, after months of trying to dick ride Eminem by calling him a piece of shit, by calling him a culture vulture, by calling him trash, by calling him everything under the everything above the sun of God. You out here doing garbage can music videos at this man's establishment, stealing his stuff, throwing food on the ground that you paid for out of the money that's coming from your wet food stamp card. This just goes to show you that old niggas like this can bring nothing to themselves in real life, let alone in his um, garbage can rap career. This is just such a shame to see an old nigga like this who had so much potential. I wouldn't just say rapping-wise, because he ain't never rapped a good bar a day in his life unless it was AI-generated or if somebody else wrote it for him. This just goes to show you that old niggas like this are just trying to relive their old wild out days. You know, you got whole ass niggas like Wack 100 out here trying to relive his old wild out days. Um, that crackhead body built snitch, um, Charleston White, aka Mr. Splinter in the face. That's Master Splinter right there. You know, snitcher rule Charleston White right there. You know, old niggas like that, you can't pay attention to. You just got to put them in their place and just throw them away like Tennessee's um garbage can defense. You know, these niggas just be stinking and just ooze and funk all over the place. Not in a good way, like, you know, um, Parliament Funkadelic. But, you know, just, just, just that stinking ass funk when, like, somebody don't flush the toilet. You just got to spray these niggas with a whole can of Febreze. Now, this dude is out here. Uh, shout out to Sod Parlor. Um, go subscribe to his channel. I will put the link to the video in the description. And I made a short video about this whole ass nigga, um, Clown Zeno, out here, you know, doing garbage can music videos outside of you know, Eminem's establishment, you know, vandalizing property. You know, he, he's just putting himself into a fucked up predicament. Now, this is the same dude uh, a week or so ago had one of his alleged girlfriends out here exposing this nigga in all extreme measures. This dude was out here doing some things that I will not repeat on this video. But for those who know who know, um, shout out to Stevie Knight. Uh, you can check out his video on this whole predicament and situation. He even had this glazed donut face Negro Wack 100 giving Bumzino the business. And you know I don't like um, Wack 100. I think he's an old ass nigga who's trying to relive his old wild out days. And he has bitch tendencies too though. But you even had that old ginger snap cookie face ass nigga out here going in on Bumzino. And that just goes to show you that dudes like Bumzino can't do anything besides just talking shit about Eminem. Talking shit about real people talking shit about people who've been more successful than him, had more awards and accolades than him. This just goes to show you that bitch niggas like that, they don't even have any set of skills to bring to the table besides trolling and acting like a damn child, knowing that this nigga's body is built like an 80-year-old man in a retirement home. Just going to put the mic down. Matter of fact, your mic has already been down. It got cocaine residue from the 1980s all over it, sir. So this just goes to show you that you need to look yourself in the mirror before it breaks, sir and get a good relationship with your family members besides, you know, falling down and you can't get up. You know, this nigga has a limited or distant life alert button that he can't even press without his hands shaking because, you know, old niggas like that, they can't even get the um, box of cereal off the top of the shelf in the grocery store. You know, his arms is too short to box with a guy. His arms is too short to, you know, um, drop any bombs unless he's dropping loads in the um, toilet, unless he, you know, shitting on himself from the activities he's been doing with one of his um lovers i'm gonna just leave it right there but let me go on the end of the video because i gotta go to work and do something constructive with my life besides bum zeno looking like an old ass man this nigga body is built like a melted twix bar he just don't bring nothing to the table anymore and it just get so tiresome of just going in on this whole ass nigga bum zeno man he do it to himself in one end right out the other bro so like I don't know what this dude is going to do. I don't know if he's going to go back on Drink Champs and, you know, talk shit about Eminem. Then two minutes later, be crying, sucking on Eminem's dick, and be sucking on everybody else's dick that he don't like. But it just goes to show you that this nigga is having a midlife crisis. I don't wish a lot on a lot of these niggas out here unless I, like, truly hate them, unless they're doing something, you know, extremely crazy 
unorthodox, but it just goes to show you that this dude truly needs help. He can't keep Eminem's name out of his mouth. He can't keep, you know, Eminem's balls out of his um mouth. He can't just keep anything Eminem related out of his mouth, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, you said you wanted to sit down and hug Eminem. Now you back on your bullshit, bro. This just goes to show you that this nigga is just like Shane Sung. First, he want to be Sub-Zero. Then he want to be Scorpion. This nigga just switched all over the place, man. So, it just goes to show you that bitch niggas like this can't be trusted in. You know, you just you just shake your head and just be like, damn, man. I just, I don't wish you bad, but you just do it to yourself. So, that's all I have to say. Like, share, come, subscribe. I will put the video in the uh, description. Shout out to South Parlor and tell me what y'all think about this um unstable creature, Bumzino, in the comment section.